Okay, so I'm going to talk about the usability of Reddit. Uh, but before we talk about usability, we need to first look at its utility. What is Spring actually used for? What can it be used for? Uh, so, the idea is that we can first look at the other projects, and they do not hide amounts and are non-fungible. Non uh, and for cryptocurrency to go mainstream, it needs to have privacy, right? Uh, it's a strict requirement. It's not something we think of uh, after, as an afterthought. And that's because, think of banks, if every payment and transaction was public, you wouldn't be able to use them. Uh, and the same can be said of cryptocurrencies, right? Uh, no one will use cryptocurrencies if I can just search and find what you bought yesterday at a store. Uh, and just to increase your life. So does that mean we add privacy to every cryptocurrency? Uh, do they all do they all run with their own privacy implementation? Well, maybe not, right? Uh, it works for them right now without privacy, but mine might not. Uh, yeah, implementation risk and privacy not for what to add. So yeah, what is good in them? What is privacy preserving? It's announced, and we all bring this. And now we can talk about the usability of it, of Grin. And so Grin has no addresses, and it makes not a lot of assumptions at the transaction layer. So with no addresses, it also means that you cannot send Grin to a mistyped address, right? Because there are no addresses. And and so, is this more future-proof too, right? Because the address is this, this idea that we have an address in the future. Cryptocurrency is only like 10 years old, and it's not clear whether address is here to stay or not. Maybe, but it's not a sure thing, right? Uh, and what are the ways to send from them? And there are a lot of well, action methods, for better or worse, and I'm a bit on the side of maybe you should deprecate HTTP and HTTPS, but there have been a lot of problems when trying to get Grin off of exchanges, with firewalls, not from your soul, and whatnot. And I'm looking into a bit of using base 64 encoded slates. Uh, so the idea is that you the slate is a base 64 string, you send it in your favorite messaging app. Uh, and uh, the other person really sends back the response late, you finalize it, and the other person verifies that he or she received the room. Uh, but of course, there's a problem. Transaction states are not actually so short. Uh, they fill up the whole space, so you only see a transaction state. Uh, so can we make them short, short enough to make them usable? Uh, is something maybe you can think about. And another thing is, it's intuitive to have slates maybe in the beginning, because the slates are kind of at your points. And when you use HTTPS, you send it, and it's kind of, you hide everything in a black box. And so I built this prototype with all blocks. It's a Grim wallet, and it does not support HTTP or HTTPS, only file and basics for encoded slates. And it's built with Electron, React, called JSON RPC, to be Grim Wallet, REST yeah, API calls to be node. Nothing major here. And let's see. But yeah, there was some gifts here of the wallet, but I guess they're not loading.
It seems like we cannot load the gifts, we will just continue. Okay, so basically, but can we create an even better experience than the wallet that did not show? Uh, can we create a smart contract room wallet? Uh, and what does that even mean? So does it mean put a spring wallet on Ethereum? Um, not really as Ethereum doesn't really price have, doesn't have pricing built in. And I'm more of a good encryption isn't really here yet, but if it's and if it, even if it is, it's very it would be very expensive. And then I remember this project called this Oasis Protocol. Um, it has private it's a private stage machine, so basically Ethereum, but private. It has end-to-end -end encryption and it supports Rust contracts which is perfect, right? because Rust is written in Rust and so the idea is that you generate the slate in your grid wallet you send the slate to the smart contract the contract adds commitments, proof signatures and all that and returns the response rate which you can then finalize right? and, and this is done like in the next block of Oasis so you don't have to wait uh, for the other person to be online. So this means you have a wallet that is always online. You can always receive bread at any point. And I think this will also work for invoices. But can we actually make this? Can we build this? So I managed to compile the minimum of Rust SSP zero knowledge proof library into WebAssembly standard interface, which is the format which Waste supports. And I did this by rebasing the Mimblewimble SSCP library on the Rust Bitcoin SSCP library, which can compile down to WASM, uh, which is done by some people. And I put that, and I only did this for the commitments. I didn't do it for board proofs, uh, AXIG, and so on, which I think can be done. Uh, just takes a lot of time, uh, which I didn't understand I have. But uh, I put this on on the commitments on the smart contract. I started the, a local waste chain. Uh, I built it, deployed it, and tested it against the, my local network, and I got a commitment back. So it seems to work. So there are some problems with this, though. Um, it costs a lot of gas. Oasis hasn't launched adoption of ways is unclear and it's not as proven as theory. And there's another problem that the sender can send dummy slates and then never finalize, right? You get a lot of junk in your contract then. Because on the other end, he needs, the receiver needs to go in and fetch out the information to know that he received points. And this also implies the green address, right? And the Oasis contract address becomes your new green address. And even if you send 
but you can't mistype it either because either the contract is there or it's not. Okay. So, okay, so what if it works? What more can we do with it? And what we can do is that we can accept transactions, accept Grim on the browser using MetaMask because Oasis supports that uh, as it's very similar to Ethereum. So you press the pay grid, MetaMask comes up, you put in your transaction slate, wait a few seconds, how long it takes for the block to arrive, you get back your transaction slate. So. And that's what can be done. But this is right now only a vision, right? Uh, it's not meant to be used today, maybe for the out. Uh, but I think it's worth thinking about. Thank you. Questions? Tony, by the way, also designed a new uh, Grim website. You should give him a hand clap for that. That looks great. Just to be clear, like, when you... So, like, when you send the, the coin to the Oasis address, uh, the Oasis smart contract will sign the commitment. So, what is the key, basically? Oh, so Oasis is private, right? So you can upload your keys onto the contract and no one gives access but yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Any more? No. Um, that was awesome. I uh, just want to say that. Uh, but also, what is the, what's the benefit of, uh, I've never heard of Oasis before. Um, what is, why did you uh, look into that over Ethereum? Is it mainly like you said, the smart contracts can support Rust, or they can under you can write smart contracts in Rust? Is that why? Or yeah, that's. I mean, that was a good like feature to have as a Grimness in Rust, but also because the main thing is that it's private, right? They have privacy built in from the start, compared to Ethereum, where you need to do like hacks and homomorphic encryption and all of that. It's not just nice to work with. Thank you. This is a bit of a stupid question, but actually all you need is sort of like a always on watchtower, right? Uh, that you're using if Oasis now to receive the transaction, uh, sign it and then pass the file back. Right? Is could they instead of using Oasis, um, could you actually just rock like a series of like just serverless functions? For example, that listen for the sort of file being sent over. Or oh, you mean just a traditional server? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Yes. I mean, but yeah, you could. Is, is that actually more privacy preserving if you can? Or is there a way to do it where you can like preserve your privacy? Let's say you create a new serverless function, the new IP address, and you have like this relay and that both. Is that actually a better alternative to like Oasis, which has gas and all that? But then the thing is, okay, then you need to buy a server from someone else, right? And it's not decentralized. Uh, and someone controls all the servers. So the idea is that okay, the person owning the wallet also owns their server, decentralized server contract, in this sense. 